for problems number five through seven, use the figure to the right. How many planes are shown in the figure? Uh, because this one uh, sort of tricked me as well. But we've got this three-dimensional figure, and then we've got this flat surface here. So plane front of this 3D figure, the back of that 3D figure, so now we're up to three. We've got both sides of that 3D figure, so four, five, but not the bottom of the 3D figure because the bottom of the 3D figure is within plane A. So if we count that again, one, two, six. If we name three collinear points, uh, it looks like S, X points on the same line. Number seven, it says our points, oh, darn it, our points N, R, S, and W coplanar, and N, but W is above this plane A. So no, they are not. And then explain, we can say W is above plane A. Watch out for these dotted lines. So that's the three dimensions here. So that um, helps us kind of keep track of that a little bit. Problem number eight, how many line segments can be named in this figure below? Well, I found the best way to do this problem was just to write down, because it's segments. So remember segments are parts of the line. So if we start with this, I did DE and I did DF, and if I want to be technical here, I need a line segment. So we did DE, we did DF, let's also do DG. So there's three of them. So we already had that one. Boy, I'm trying to list them down. So then what we've got really is we've got EF, in E G and F G. There we go. Put the line segments above. 